I'm five today. Oh my. <laughs> and it's a big one. You're excited for today? Yeah. yeah. So we've got Pikachu, Bulbasaur, and uh, Squirtle, and Charmander. We've got Sweets. Yeah. We've got Cheesy Puffs. We've got marshmallows, candle for the cake, and butties, what else is under there? Ooh, onion rings, <laughs> Maltesers, <laughs> Haribo, what else? Popcorn maker. Mm -hmm. If you want some popcorn. Some popcorn. There's a pop. Put it in there. Then you put it in there, then you wait for it, then it... Then it just looks like popcorn and turns into popcorn. Mm -hmm. Pokemon. Mm. All these cards. Show my teddy. These banners. Show That shell, that exoskeleton, is made from the exact same stuff as crab shells or seashells. Have you ever been to the beach and found seashells? These, the exoskeleton, is made from the exact same stuff. And these guys as well, they're vegetarians. They only eat rotten vegetables. Now what are you? Are you a rotten vegetable? No, we're human, aren't we? So these little guys can't eat us. In fact, they've got no teeth. So do you think you can be brave and hold them? Do it. What do you reckon? Put two hands out like that and we'll pop them on your hands. Yeah, you go on. Are you excellent, here. buddy? Sorry, I've got yours here. <laughs> <laughs> How easy is that? Yeah. 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 They're quite they're actually not bad looking. As cockroaches go, they're not too bad looking. Most people think um, bugs are, but cockroaches are pests. But there's over 5,000 types of cockroach, and only about three of them are considered pests by humans. These ones hate humans. They don't like me, are you? Because they think we smell. I think they're cheeky. They, we're covered in more germs than these little guys. He will spend half an hour cleaning himself after you've held him because he thinks me and you are dirty. I'm going to try something very, very silly. Are you ready? Hang on. There you go. Should we put him on your head? See what he does. Should we try them on your head? Two to three years. Two to three years. So they're a very short lived species. He's having none of it. He's running right off with her. No, he's running off. He's running off. You were, you were brave to hold him though. Do you want to do it again? Put hands out. Two hands. Pop them in there. And then. This lady right here, she's gonna give it a try. No, she's not. What's your, what's your name? <laughs> Carrie Ann. Carrie Ann. Should, should, should we get Carrie Ann to hold one as well? What do you think? Should we get Auntie Cass to hold it? No. If I hold it, you hold it. Should we go over? Let's, let's, come on, let's go over here. Me and you come over here with that little guy. I've just held it. Excellent. Here we go. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. You're over it. You've got one as a pet suit. So. so, this is the female. This is the female. They're re Watch this, this is how clean they are. It's got too many legs. Oh, yeah. so, on, I, I think if you, if you think this has got too many legs, you might worry in a little bit. So, <laughs> you can feel those little hooks, can't you? Yeah, you oh, can feel them. We've got one with more. And they get completely harmless as well. They can, these ones cannot fly. You guys, you guys used to be in Spain and seeing them fly. These cannot fly. Not these ones whatsoever. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, He's still doing got some brilliant. Left, right? He's doing yeah. brilliant. So, <laughs> 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 do you guys like to give it a try? We asked Chris what's the Excellent, Do you want to give it a try? I've already. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. It's made from calcium carbonate. It's the same stuff as seashells. Go on, 
Okay. You're gonna give it a try. Stroke Go on, give him a little, give him a little tickle. Like I'll that. stroke it when you're old. Okay. <laughs> when did the hiss? Mine are that used to humans. Now they don't they hiss. They don't hiss. These guys, they only hiss when they get scared. Is it so, like a self defense. Yes. <laughs> they will be quite loud as well. <laughs> you're doing really well there. Can you see the antenna I hear you? They are like his nostrils. He he picks up smells with his antenna. That's weird, though, isn't it? We've got nostrils. We breathe in. He doesn't. He just waves them around and picks up chemicals on his antenna. Oh. oh, look at it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna borrow this one again. I'm gonna turn him upside down because I want you to see his legs. That's okay. Come on. Are you ready? He's gonna turn him upside down so he can see his legs. So he's got three pairs, three pairs of legs, and that's what makes him an insect. Three pairs of legs, and he's got two body. Sorry, three body segments. In fact, he's got a head, a thorax, and a cephalothorax. But there's his little face as well. Can you see a cheeky little face? It won't hurt. Maybe I'll no, it won't Can't hurt. Can't hurt your twelfth one. He's got no teeth. You're gonna give it a try. Yeah. Excellent. You put your hands in front of mine, and that way you can run off onto mine if you like. The funny as well, you've got them like that. Uh, Look, you go. Amazing! <laughs> oh my god. There's nothing to it. I think they're kind of cute in a weird, ugly kind of way. So, <laughs> I'm gonna make him walk now. Are you ready? No. Go. <laughs> really well done, though. Really well done. As I mentioned earlier, they're really, really big. For our le lemurs, love to eat these things. They breed really easily. Right. The females can get pregnant and carry 40 babies at a time. It takes two to three months for them to come out, and those babies are then they can get pregnant at three months. So after six, nine months, you've got hundreds of cockroaches. So I've got I've got a baseline now of who's brave and who's not, and, and mm. I think this lady right here is going to love the next animal. But I also know Aaron's been looking forward to meeting this one as well. Yes. So, so where's the birthday boy again? Come over here, Morgan, mate. Because me and you're going to... You sit down there next to me, bud. There we go. Pop him in there. This is one of my best friends. Oh, yeah. This is Foxy Jr. Foxy Jr. is a Mexican redney tarantula all the way from Central America. I'm a little bit offended right now. I wouldn't want to. I think he is. So I won't chase you guys with this one. Because this is technically one of the most dangerous animals we've brought with us. Technically. Because he does have teeth, he has got fangs, they're about a centimetre long, and he has got venom. But the venom is useless against humans. Absolutely useless against humans. Over the millions of years he's evolved, he's evolved to defend himself from things like small lizards, birds, and he eats insects, he doesn't eat humans. So if he uses his venom, that's a waste. He can't use that venom on another animal that he might be able to eat or maybe defend himself against. So his defense is to sit up on his back legs and show you his teeth, and then he'll run away. Sometimes, if you, if you get him from the rear, so if you were a little mouse and you were being sneaky and you tried to nibble his legs, he'd use his back two legs to pull off those hairs on his bottom. Where are you going? There we go, buddy. And these hairs right here, I've got little spikes on the end. They're called urticating hair. And if you was a small mouse, and those hairs went in your eye, they'd really, really hurt. But because we're so big, the hairs don't really affect us much. But if somebody ever asks, would you like a tarantula on your face, just say no. I once got one of the hairs in my eye, and for two weeks it was raw. It was just, I was almost in tears. So, do you think Daddy should go first? Do you think, yeah? If you put your hand nice and flat like that, right in the middle, with your fingers nice and tight, close it, perfect. Here we go. Oh my God. No, no, you've done it. Nothing to it. Oh, okay. not what well, this one, Juva, is going to get bigger. Yeah. It's probably going to double in size. Sam, what time? And you see how it's gone still? Because it's a bit of a breeze at the moment. Yeah. Because it's a breeze at the moment. She's like, right, stay still. She's absorbing all that heat from your hand. Is that what she's doing? Because these guys are like snakes. They're they're yeah. endothermic, so they don't produce their own temp, their own heat. We eat, it turns it into chemical energy, we turn it into uh, thermal energy. These guys can't do that, so they have to sunbathe and get their energy from the surrounding heat. So I need to the wrong direction. Could, oh, there you go. Fight or flight there, boy, fight or flight. You did really well to stay still as well, though. Most people, when they see you yeah, move that quick, yeah. they shift the hand. Yeah, yeah. You, you forget, spiders stick to stuff. So we've had it before now, someone's had it on the hand, and they've panicked and they've pulled the hand back, but spiders, they stick to things. So they brought the spider up here and it's ended up, you know, like this. Put one more. 
And then Morgan, are you going to give it a try? Come on, I've done it. So yeah. Yeah. You can do it together if you like, guys. Come on. One finger, give him a little tickle just there. And you can feel how soft with your fur, yeah, front of your finger, just like that. How soft is that? It feels like velvet. Do you want to give it a try? You can do it at the same time as me if you like. Put your finger up. How soft and fluffy was that? Now you've done it, I'm going to tell you, that was a spider's bum. <laughs> But right here's where his web comes out as well, guys. Can you see? He's got two spinnerets. They look like little fingers poking out of his bottom. Now, most spiders have got four spinnerets, and they make the impressive webs you see in the corner. He can't do that. He's, he's not got as much control over his silk. He's a much more primitive spider than a house spider. So he makes sheets of silk for the floor. He'll dig a little burrow, and then he'll line that silk, the entire burrow, with his silk. It's waterproof, it's strong, and you can feel vibrations through it. Yeah. So it's a triple threat, really, for his little house. My hands are roasting. She's like, oh, yeah. she'll love you. I'll just sit here. <laughs> Would anybody else like to give it a try? You? This one's a juvenile, so it's around three. So it's got a lot more growing to go now. Yeah. If it's a female, we hope it's a female. Yeah. 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 You'll probably hear me say male. Yeah. Females live a lot longer than the males. Yeah. This, if it is a female, she should hopefully live to be at least 25. Oh, wow. The males, so nine to 12. <laughs> wow. Are we going to give it a try? Yeah. Excellent. Ooh, are you... Oh. What would you like to give him a tickle? Oh, With one finger, you can give him a little stroke there and see how fluffy he is. <laughs> would you ladies like to try this together? Yeah, you can put your hands out like that, nice and flat for man. Put them right next to each other, girls. And I'm going to go across this hand and across yours. Oh my god. You're even doing that with a smile as well. Are you I'm going to go boop. Boop. <laughs> Perfect, ladies. Well done. Hand that nice and flat like that. Kneel down. Do you want to do it with me? Easier. You can do it together, guys. Yeah. Are you ready? We're going to go across this way. Alright. Like I said, spiders are lazy, guys, because it's a waste of energy to move unless there's food involved. That's good advice for it in general. Yeah, really pop your hand out, bud. It's not the same as a house spider well, that most people are scared of because it's bad, yeah. Because it's small, yeah, yeah. She's pretty slow. Are you ready, bud? Yeah. It's alright, with your other finger, go boop very gently. Boop. Try that again. Boop. <laughs> That's better. Perfect, mate. Good job for you, at all, can you? I want one. Do you know what? They make pretty good pets. This is my cleanest pet. All my other pets poop wherever they want. This one poops in silk and leaves it in the corner. It's fantastic. It's not what you expect. His body basically is hollow. His skeleton's on the outside, so that's the heaviest part of this animal. Is that actual skeleton? And it's paperweight. Are you going to give it a try, bud? It can, he's got eyes, but he's not got very good eyesight. His eyesight's pretty rubbish. He's got eight little eyes, right on the top there, and he can only see basic shapes and black and white. He's not got very good eyesight. Right, we're going to get something a bit bigger out and a bit cuter now, guys. What do you reckon? Oh. Oh. Is that a wig? Come down and I'll sit down. Thank you. No, you take that. I'll do this. I'll do this. Pets are alive, aren't they? Yes. Both of these, the big guy is about 13. This little one is seven, eight years old. Um, so they've got a long, long time to go yet. So this species will live to be at least 100. At least. If this tortoise dies before it's 60, I've done something wrong. That's how, oh, how long these guys should live. But can I buy one of these? They love a scratch on the shell. Can they feel that? They can feel everything on their shell. It's covered in nerve endings. The shell is a modified rib cage, right. and it's just got a layer of skin on, it, on the top of it, basically, with nerve endings. Most people think that the shell is to protect them from getting knocked and things like this, and that's not true. It's to stop them getting eaten because it gets caught in the throat. So this shell, will get, if you use a wolf or something like that, you couldn't eat that. You couldn't break the shell. If you tried to swallow it, you'd choke. Yeah. So they're very closely related to turtles. They will chase the green. They love the green. Will these bite you? No. no. Very unlikely. Unless you've got your toes exposed. They do chase feet. Keep sucks on Marvin. I want to have two giant ones. But these will get big, not as big as that that you mentioned. 
these would get to be about this big. Uh, they're quite a common tartar in the trade. Uh, they're called the Herman's Tartar, so these ones are from the Mediterranean, from Greece. The bigger one's probably a spur thigh. Does that sound familiar? <laughs> quick as a lion, because they're much quicker than people think. It's okay, dude. Just give it a little tickle. It won't bite you. It's just saying hi, and if it comes too close, all you've got to do is that. <laughs> How easy is that? And now you can give them some scratches. They love a scratch. Oh, have we weed? Yeah, we. Hang on. Right. I'm so glad you've got hard for. <laughs> <laughs> I know the carpet. Uh, but more well, better. If you've got a little garden in the summer, you can even give them a little plot. As long as you protect the top, cats and birds will try and attack them. Not this species. Some do. Those that live more north and more south, they tend to hibernate. But because these live near the equator, it's nearly always warm. So because they live in captivity as well, I can control the temperature, the food and the water. So these guys are strict herbivores as well, so what they should only eat grasses, weeds and flowers. So if it's, if it's got a flat stomach, it's a female. If it's got a concave stomach, like this one has, it's a male. Because if it's concave, the male can then sit on top of the lady when they're having babies. He's chasing yeah, your dress. He'll it, it will, it will think this, your dress is food. He'll think it's some kind of flower. So out in the wild, they'll try and find a big rock or a low hanging branch. He's try and bite you. Did he try and nibble you? <laughs> oh, there you go. He's after that. <laughs> I think I'll take that. Did you see him trying to eat that? Because he thinks it's a flower. So. <laughs> Thank you, ladies. Perfect. <laughs> You're lucky you didn't poop. <laughs> oh, you're going to stand right in front of me. Turn around this way. Turn around this way. I need you to put your hands out like this and close your eyes really, really tight. Are you ready? Are you get your hands ready? Are you ready? Are you ready, buddy? Close your eyes. Close your eyes. And this is my little buddy. There you go. Open your eyes. Wow. Oh, it's a snake. So this is Tuscan. Tuscan is a Kenyan sand boa all the way from Africa. And as you can see, he's pretty tiny, isn't he, guys? So this is a small species anyway. They only grow to be about three foot. <laughs> you with that one? His hair's too soft to keep it on. Well, he he's got a great head of hair. He likes He likes This guy likes to chill. Most of the time, when he's at home, he's under the sand. So this guy lives underground a lot of the time. That's why, in fact, have a look. He's got really small eyes. Can you see their teeny tiny eyes? He's not got very good eyesight because he's always under the sand. And there you go. Perfect. I'm going to kneel down with you guys. Wow. So, what do you think this little guy eats? What do snakes eat? Burgers? Pizza? Mealworms? No. There's not many snakes eat a bugs. Not many. There's a few, but not many. Nope. There's no snake that eats vegetables. They're all predators. They're hunters, all snakes are hunters. Are you okay? I've got him for you, perfect. This little guy eats small mice. Yeah, of course you can. Small mice? Teeny tiny mice. There's a cool word for that. It's called iridescence. And it just means shiny looking. And that's why most people think snakes look slimy though, because they've got that lovely oily shine. Sheen. She has a bit shiny. She is, isn't she? Uh, nope. <laughs> <laughs> Straight to the arm. Snakes do like armpits. And Crowley is a boa constrictor all the way from Brazil. And Morgan, would you like to come and give it a try? You're standing between me and Jen. You stand right there. I'm going nowhere now. And turn around and face everyone. Hands out. Put, put your hands up. Put like this. That's it. Another one up here. Where Near me. Near me. And that Perfect. is how you hold a boa constrictor. Well done, Morgan. Beautiful. Well, actually, I've got him for you, don't worry. I've got him. Now, you're way too big for this snake to eat, so you don't have to worry. But this snake, by the way, guys, can you see the size of his head? It's not very big, is it? That head can fit in mice as thick as his belly. Because he dis he doesn't dis he stretches his jaw. Look at you changing your words. And he doesn't dislocate. <laughs> Everyone thinks that a snake dislocates the jaw, it's not true. The bone is set in the muscles, so he just stretches them. Come on over, are you coming in, Turn around. Hands out. She's different. She's so wet. Are they apart from me? Perfect. How heavy is he? He's really heavy. It's coming to see you. Where are you going? I'm going to go over that way. He's trying to give you go kisses as well. Well, you guys all smell new to this snake, so you can see his tongue going crazy there. Can you see? It's only lips, I promise. Yeah, the tongue just means they're smelling you. Yeah. 
In fact, you're a bit bigger, you throw a bit more weight. I'm well, in fact, you don't know what's going on. Oh, wow. <laughs> what are you doing over there? Are you going to try and hide under my shirt? Come on. He really likes that fish, he thinks it's real fish. going to try and hide under my armpit. Look, look, look. Get out, cheeky. <laughs> there we go. You're gonna have to unravel a bit, mate, because we need a bit of snake. Uh, you gonna? I'm gonna unwind here. If you if you guys ever find yourself out in the jungle, surround, covered, sorry, squished by a snake, the best thing to do is unwind at the tail. The tail is weaker than the neck of a snake. Just unwind the tail first. It's much much easier. Oh, I'll just avoid the snake. That's even yeah, better. <laughs> so, <laughs> he's really got a good grip here. Can you see? Oh. I know because he's like over me. <laughs> One sec. Oh, that's the... <laughs> Hiya. See how strong he is? I'm going to try and unwind there. Come on, Thank you. So you do it from the tail? The tail. Right. Tail's the weak of it. <laughs> Perfect. He's lovely though. I say he. She's lovely, isn't she? She's lovely. You got this way, bud. Anywhere that's warm. He's liking you as well. Did you see that? He came around and gave you a good sniff with his tongue. See how long his tongue is as well. So that last snake we just saw, guys, that was also a boa. That was a Kenyan sand boa. This is a boa constrictor. So they're very closely related, but you saw the difference in the, the shape and the size. Amazing. Where is she? She escaped. No, there she is. This is Vladimira. Oh my god! And she's going to go in there. And then if you turn that upside down, I she will drink that. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> so with this hand, you can give him some scratches. Oh, oh my god! Can I steal him a bun? Not so, we do have another animal as well, guys, just in case, but nowhere near as cute as this one. That's a bit soft. She's very soft, isn't she? She's getting a winter coat in. Give him some tickles. Yeah, of course you can. We're going to let Morgan hold him first, and then you can hold him next if you like. She's pretty cute though, isn't she? Her name, this is a ferret. This is a Russian black ferret. She, she's my little baby. She lives in the living room with her little sisters and we all watch cartoons together. She's got very sharp claws. That's why she's in this little bag so she doesn't can't scratch you guys. Look at that! the millipede over here, it's okay. Oh dear. Drop to me! I've got a poo bag, we're all right. Wow. So she loves this stuff as well. It's really good for her fur. It makes her fur nice and soft. But keep giving the tickles, guys. She loves it. <laughs> because she's enjoying herself. So when she's she goes like, mmm. that is the Unfortunately, I couldn't bring a little sister. Uh, a big sister, actually. Arms out. Perfect. Can you put your arms out, man? Superman? Uh, you hold that. You hold the bottle. Let me take a picture of you, Bella. Right outside down. Perfect. I think it feels a little bit like tattoos. You know, when you're getting that little prickly feeling. Yeah. It's just the same. Yeah. She loves a scratch there. That's one of her faves right there. Can you feel the leg? So, ferrets have got some pretty famous cousins. You guys know skunks, don't you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> This is related to a skunk. Have you, ever, have you guys heard of otters? Yeah. Otters? This is an otter's cousin. What about a wolverine? Oh, you heard of wolverine? Yeah. So it's just Not the X-Man. <laughs> Not the X-Man, the little animal. This is related to a wolverine. And these guys are obligate carnivores. That means they only eat meat. Only eat meat. This little guy is about seven. So if you guys are thinking about getting a pet, you must get at least two because they need friends. When these guys are scared, they release a, a musky smell, but it's only when they're scared. Which is why this is here and she's got that. That'll keep her nice and calm. They don't always do it. That wraps her down. Perfect. And then with that hand, scratches. It should be the defense. She's very, very friendly. Well, you can also do this, go... I'd have to stand Except you risk getting fish oil in your face. She's trying to be scary and show you her teeth by being big and bad, but she's not. She's a wash for that's horrible. Do you feel it? Yeah, I don't like it. I'm going to hold it. Oh, you stand up with me, Mark. Hold it, Jake. Hold me that door over there. I'll try and do that one. I'll bring it down to you. I'll do it, darling. They tickle like crazy. That's that one. 
Are you That's ready to awful. be tickled? <laughs> Tickling your hands. <laughs> There's a lot of legs to tickle you. It's bigger than your hands. Is that Goliath? It is a little bit pointy, isn't it? Rabbits live in warrens, don't they? It's big long tunnels that go all over. <laughs> go on, Mark. Come on. Come on. Just got loads of legs. Oh, legs. Yeah. Yeah. This one is having a little nibble of me, actually. <laughs> I must smell of food. Let's get them back on. You're alright with it. You can leave it there. It's just nothing like you've ever felt, is it? It's just really hard. That's Michael. Every time I've got that vegetable bit, so I just chuck them in. Whatever you don't eat, throw in there pretty much. Avoid starchy things, but other than that, you're fine. Yeah, anything leafy or like. The occasional mushroom as well. Yeah. But they only eat it when it's starting to go a bit. Be careful playing with them balloons, guys. Oh, yeah. Because Vlad will probably poop. It doesn't need to be actually rotten, but like if it's straight out the fridge and it's really fresh, they struggle to get the teeth through it. This one escaped from it. Yeah, I think they go fight with another ferret. We've got that. They don't get along at all. Six in the morning. Make a wish. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Make a wish. Don't tell anybody. Don't tell anyone. Then blow it out. <laughs> 